So I have a clean Windows 10 virtual machine here and I'm going to go through the install Java speedrun. So the first thing I have to do is check and see whether Java and Maven are installed. So I check for Java. Remember I want the Java SDK installed so I'm going to say Java C for the Java compiler minus version. That's not installed, so I know I need to install the Java SDK. Let's check to see if Maven is installed. Maven is not installed, so I need to install Maven as well. If either of these commands pass, you don't need to install that unless you want to upgrade the version that you've got installed. So now I know that I need to install the SDK, I'm going to go and download the Java SDK. I'm going to download the most up-to-date version of the SDK that is there at the time that I make this video. I have to accept the license agreement. And I'll take the 102 Windows 64-bit version. Choose the version that is right for your machine. I don't need the demos and samples, I'm just taking the SDK. Okay, now it's downloaded, I'm going to run the install program. Okay, it's going to install it into 1.08.102. That folder is fine. It's installing the Java Runtime Edition as well, so that's useful. Okay, so I'm just going to get a command line up again. Right, Java C minus version. It isn't recognized. So it hasn't added it into the path yet. Let's see if it's added a Java home. Okay, so it's added the JRE into the path, but it hasn't added the JDK and it hasn't created a Java home environment variable. So I'm going to have to do that. So let's remember where it added the JDK. There we go. So this is the path that I am going to add into the Windows path variable. Let me just copy that path before I forget. I'm going to add it onto the system path. And I want the bin folder. So go back here. You can bin. This is where all the applications are stored. So I want the bin folder. So I add it like that. And I'm also going to create a Java home. This one doesn't have the bin folder and hopefully that will help applications discover where Java is installed. So if I OK out of this now, close down the command line so it picks up the new settings, get a new command line up, And there we go, Java C, so the SDK has been installed. So now I have to download and install Maven. So if I go off to the maven.apache.org site, go off to their download, I will download the binary zip. I don't download the source, I want the binary zip. I'm gonna save that. Now to install Maven, all we do is unarchive the zip file, take the files that are there, into a folder. The folder should have no spaces in the name. Then we add that folder to the path. So what I'm going to do is extract everything in that zip. I'm going to put it all in C and I'll call it Maven. So 
So now I've got a C colon slash Maven, Apache Maven 339. There are no spaces in there. That's good. I can add that into the Windows path. Now essentially all we're doing is following the install instructions that are listed on the site. And the install instructions tell us we need to have Java Home, which we've already done. Then we need to add the bin folder for where we just installed that into the Windows path. So let me copy this, get the Windows properties up, change the settings, off to advanced, change the environment variables, get the system path, edit the path, add a new item onto the path for Apache Maven. Okay, if I okay out of all of this now, Get a new window up, Maven should be installed. There we go. Now I'm just gonna run a test and make sure this works. So I'm gonna download the test project from github.com slash evil tester slash start using Java JUnit. I'm just gonna say, download the zip. Now if I extract this, go in the folder, I want to be in the root folder where the pom.xml is, start a command line, there's the pom.xml, so I'm just going to type maven test. So it's downloading everything we need to run the test. And it ran the test, the test passed, the build was a success. So I'm going to download the IntelliJ Community Edition, load the sample project into that and run the test just to make sure that IntelliJ is installed correctly. So I go off to the IntelliJ official site, download, download the Community Edition. Now I'm just going to run the installer and go through the install process. And I'll just run it when we finish. Now I have already downloaded the github.com slash evil tester slash start using Java JUnit project. And I've extracted that into my downloads folder. So this is what I'm going to open in IntelliJ to make sure it works. So I'm just going to say open. I'm going to click on the pom.xml. Let it through the firewalls. Wait for IntelliJ to finish its initial processing. Let me get the project up. And I can see we've got the pom.xml. Everything's nicely syntax highlighted and we can see that this project is dependent on JUnit. So I'm gonna go into source, test, Java, in the com.java for testers.junit, there's my first test. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna run my first test. And it tells me that it can't find the SDK. So I need to add the SDK to this project it's come up automatically. So let me add the JDK that we installed earlier. There it is. C program files Java JDK 1.8. Yes, use that. Okay. Here 
IntelliJ is finished doing all its indexing. So let's try and run that test again. So this time it built a project, ran the test, everything was okay. So that means IntelliJ is installed, Java's installed, Maven's installed. We could start coding in Java using IntelliJ now. Thank <laughs> you.